So there was this incredible study done. It's, uh, I've got it right here. It's called The Moment That Turns Your Values Upside Down. And there's four components to it. There's men and women before and after. Now, before one of these quantum moments, they were asked just to list uh, the most important priorities of their life, from the most important to the least important. Now, for men, the very first and most important value that they had learned was wealth, the accumulation of money. It's not really that big a surprise, yeah. because we are taught as men when we're growing up that your job is to support your family, your job is to get ahead. And the second most important value for all of these men was uh, a sense of adventure to go out there and, you know, what, conquer the world? Be whatever. the guy. Yeah, absolutely. Be, the, be the, you know, the macho guy. The third was achievement. You know, as men, we're raised to believe that uh, you are what you, what you do, what you accomplish, what you're able to create. The fourth is the idea of pleasure. You know, going out with the guys, getting as many dates <laughs> as you can, having as much fun as you possibly can. The uh, fifth of these is to be respected. All right, and we all know as men what that means. You know, you're not giving me any respect, man. And then you get out there, and when you're growing up and you're a kid, and if you don't get respect, you're having fights. Here are the top priorities of our lives. You know, be able to make money, to have a sense of adventure, to have, you know, to to achieve, to feel pleasure, to be respected. That's basically the morning <laughs> of our life. This sounds like my list. What are you talking about? When was the last time you had fun? Oh. Do not even listen to her. I know how to have fun. Do you mind? I'm trying to hear Wayne. Go on. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So the second part of the study, which is the after. A quantum shift has taken place. Same questions, only it's many years later, and right. they followed this over, over a lifetime. And the number one value is spirituality. Spirituality. The number one thing. It has gone from making money to spirituality, which wasn't even on the list, before. You can't even find it. I've got the top 15 of them listed right here. It's not even on there. The second one is personal peace, less anxiety, less stress, if you will. The third one is family. Now, family was on the other list, but it was way down before. Now, what happens after one of these moments, you begin to look around and say, what is it that's important to me in my life? And then the next is God's will. This is the one that says, I have a sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. And then honesty is the fifth quality. Not just honest that I don't steal, mm -hmm. but how honest am I as a, as a man, you know, with my feelings, with, with the, yeah, yeah, that's exactly right, you know. Those are the top qualities for men. So there's the before and there's the behind. You can see what a significant change this is, what a, what a shift has taken place here. I know what you're going <laughs> to I can already tell. Yeah. What's the deal with the women? Bring it on. For women, it's even more astonishing. Before one of these quantum moments, the number one value is family. And it's not surprising because women are kind of raised in our society, in our culture, to be a good mother, to be a good daughter, to support your family, to take care of your children and so on. The second one which may surprise you, was a sense of, uh, of independence, of feeling as if uh, I would like to feel independent. Women are very conflicted. Yeah, makes sense. The third was career. Now, very often, women never even felt that they had a right to go for a career because they were obligated to be taking care of their family. And this is not a put-down of that at all. What we're saying here is that there's something more. The fourth quality for women was fitting in, having to be like everybody else and so on. Yeah. And then finally, attractiveness. And this yeah. became not just like it's nice to look nice, but my whole values are, and how do I look? And where do I get this? You know what? That is so scary when you break it down like that, because where is it that we learn as women we're supposed to be pleasing everybody else all the time? Well, go on the newsstand. Yeah. You know, all you see are magazines with pictures of girls with waists this big and, uh, you know, with uh, implants. Lots of emphasis on makeup, having the right labels, where, you know, carrying the right bags and, and so on. So these became the top uh, qualities or characteristics or values for women before one of these shifts. Well, I hope the after list is better. Their values shift dramatically. 
the number one value for women after having this experience is right here is my own personal growth now remember before it was like taking care of everybody else doing the right thing fitting in and now it's all of a sudden how am I growing as a human being how do I feel about myself the second is a sense of self-esteem am I worth anything how do I feel about myself am I a valuable human being the third one is spirituality my, oh, wow. se my sense of my connectedness to something bigger and greater than myself and then happiness hmm. again this wasn't even on the list it was uh, almost at the bottom of the list before how often have women been raised to believe that their happiness isn't an important thing that uh, doing what they are supposed to do rather than feeling you know a sense of I'm entitled to be happy and then a very interesting one it's called forgiveness this became very important in their lives forgiveness that's good because then you can forgive all those people that gave you bad information about what you're supposed to be doing yeah there's a whole lot of uh, resentment that begins to take place in people it's it's it's, it's what so many people just go along with Oh, right. Joe, this is great. Hey, you're the best. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah, this is great. We should be filming oh, this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.